Beautiful Geeks. Today I'm reviewing the book 13 Stories and oh my god this book is so good. I can't like I can't even describe it. Um so it's about um oh okay <laughs> let me start over before I get ahead of myself. So this book takes place in a hotel um run by this billionaire um named Tobias Spell and it's about the people who live there but also their supernatural encounters and that's how they get them get invited to this dinner party um is through all their individual encounters with the supernatural um so this is a horror book <laughs> if you don't like horror don't read this and also it's 18 plus i would not recommend it for anybody under that there are some themes that you all should not be reading if you're not 18 plus all right be an adult and then read whatever you want. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> there's some things in here you do not need to be reading. All right, all right. Um, if you, well, actually, you know what? Caution to the wind. If you want to read it, read it. I don't care. It's your, you're your own person. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Just read the book. I don't really care how old you are. Um, it's just not for young audiences. Let me just say that. Yep. There we go. That's great. Young audiences. If you're a teenager, read it. Go ahead. But if you're younger than that, don't read it. You, no, no, no. Don't. No, hurry. <laughs> you don't give yourself nightmares. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm so chaotic today. It's not even funny. I'm like full of energy. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, where was it? Yes, because there's supernatural encounters again. Invited to the dinner party. And Tobias fell. Mysteriously dies. Um, which you get in the intro in the prologue of the book, you get that information. And then throughout the book, um, it's all everybody's different stories. Um, so the first one is Violet, um, and her story. And then the next one is like, um, Laura Lockwood, which is another story. Um, and they tell all these stories about supernatural happenings with these people and them figuring out there's something not quite right with the hotel that they live in um, and whatnot. I'm gonna try not to give spoilers because this book is amazing. Um, this book does have themes of not just regular horror things, but also there is like um, character death, brutal murder, uh, Cannibalism, which I fucking hate, and I, I'm so sorry. That was a swear. I'm so sorry. Um, I did not mean to swear on camera. I am so sorry. Um, ah, um, which I despise. I do not like cannibalism, so that was something that I did not try quite enjoy in this book. But I knew it was kind of coming because Jonathan Sims. Um, he has written the most amazing podcast that I absolutely love, which is called The Magnus Archives, um, distributed by Rusty Quill. Um, and it's a beautiful podcast, definitely amazing. Um, if you want a good spooky time, full of mystery and a lot of fan theories, go check out The Magnus Archives. Um, it's definitely for older audiences, definitely not for younger, so if you're in your teens, you should be fine. Um, but that's beside the point. Uh, this book does have the horror themes, so definitely be careful about that, definitely with your mental state. Um, I want you all to know when not to push yourself. Um, I definitely had to skip the cannibalism part. I was like, that's not happening. I do not like it. I do not like, I don't like zombies. I don't like people numbing on other people. It freaks me out. It gives me immense anxiety so I went skip 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 um but like it was only for like I want to say like a page and a half so um it's not really in there that much it's just for a page and a half and it's at the very end there you go I told you you should know um but it's really good and it always keeps you on your toes this book does um it always makes you want to know what's happening next because I'd like finish one story and then I'd be like oh god I need to read the next one and I'd have to stop because either I'd have to go to work or um, I just had to do other things um, like school. But this book is definitely amazing. It took me about, I would say, a week and a half to read. 
um, just because I didn't have much time to just sit down and read it, because if I sit, sat down and read it, I would have finished it in a day, and um, that's how good this book is. Um, Jonathan Sims is an amazing writer. He knows how to write horror very, very well. Um, if you love horror movies, books, media, then definitely check this book out. Um, it was not what I expected, but it was so good and it was definitely worth reading. Um, I had to get this off Amazon. It is not in regular bookshops just because the book does. Um, the publishing company is in the UK, so you can only get it in the UK if you live there. Um, so I did have to get this off Amazon. Um, I got it for $24, which was not a bad price, considering when it originally started it was like $52 and I was like, I cannot pay $52 for this book, even though I want it so, 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 so bad, I cannot pay, justify paying $58 for a book. So I waited till it went down and I got it for $24, which was definitely worth the price. Um, I wish it was $18, but you know, I'm definitely willing to pay $24 for this book. It is very chunky. Um, it, about oh my god 392 pages um which is great if you're a big fan of Rusty Quill and a big fan of Jonathan Sims writing then this is definitely a book for you um it does have some acknowledgments to some people in Rusty Quill so if you know people if you know if you watch twitch streams and you follow um, the people who work at Rusty Quill, and you definitely know, see some of their names in the acknowledgments, as well as in the beginning of the book. Um, so if you know, you know. And I love everybody at Rusty Quill. They're just amazing people. So definitely check Rusty Quill out. Their podcast. They have Magnus Archives, which Jonathan Sims wrote, which and also performs in, and is amazing. It's one of my favorite podcasts, and it's what got me into podcasts. Um, Stella Former is really funny if you like crackhead energy. Um, Rusty Quill Gaming is also really great if you're into D&D and like all role-playing games and whatnot, RPG games. Um, what else am I forgetting? I know there's another podcast, I think it's called Outliers, which I have not listened to. Um, but I think they just produced that one. I don't think they... Um, I don't know if any... But he works on that one, per se. Um, but they distribute it. Um, God. Yeah, but this book is amazing! If you want a good horror book, and if you want something really, really good, um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, it's spooky, it's great, it's interesting, and it always keeps you on your toes. Um, I only have good things to say about this book, and I will read the, reread this book over and over and over again. Because I'm sure there's, like, things I miss. Like, there's different, definitely, like, characters in this book that come up again into other people's stories. And it's just, ugh, it's just so good. You don't understand how much I love this book. Um, I'm not big into horror, but this book definitely really, it's really, 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 really good. Really, really good. Because when I found out Jonathan Sims wrote a book, I was like, ha, 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 ha. I love Magnus. I'm getting this book. And it was definitely worth the money. Um... So yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and thumbs up this video if you liked it. If you have any questions about this book, about content warnings, where I got it, prices, anything about this book, please contact me. I'm more than willing to um, answer your questions. Even if you have questions about Rusty Quill, um, I follow them a lot on their social medias, and also I watch a lot of their Twitch streams, which they do. Um, and I just keep up with everybody because I just love everybody who works there. Everybody just seems like great people and they all seem... They're very much about mental health and keeping everybody healthy and content warnings. And they're just a great company and I definitely would love to work for them one day if they ever hire me. I can voice act. <laughs> I'm an actress. I got it. But they probably would never hire me, so it's fine. Um, never say never. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, you guys, please ask, please ask me questions. I'm more than willing to answer them um, if you have any questions about this book. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and on Fairland Fiction at Unapologetically Geeky. Same way it's spelled here. You can also follow me on TikTok at Unapologetically Geeky1. Um, I do a lot of cosplaying on there. It's a fun time over there. 
Um, definitely love interacting with fans of podcasts and whatnot. I do a lot of podcast cosplays. Um, definitely Magnus Archives. I also do the Penundrum podcast as well. Those videos are not up yet. I need to get on that. Um, I'm filming some videos for that today, so woo! But anywho, um, thank you guys for watching. I know I'm very chaotic and I talk really, really fast when I'm excited about things. And it's got me really excited. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Alright, goodbye.